Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in to this video. Today is going to be another resin test video. Resibon sent me a sample of their latest resin Tough 74. This resin is manufactured especially with stuff like action figures in mind. So they took care to address issues like surface rubbing or dusting as it's called. And it should be a long lasting, strong, sturdy resin intended especially for mechanical parts for reusable mechanical parts or parts that are under constant mechanical stress. So let's give it a go. Let's test it with one of our action figures and see where it's at. For this video I printed the Exo Armor Space Type Mark II, one of our latest files you can get at techatoys.com to try for yourself. Here the printed parts. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the pilot figure. We can set out all the parts we need for that. The manufacturer's recommendations are layer exposure times of two to three seconds. I usually print the pilot action figure at three seconds layer exposure. The exo armor suits at two seconds layer exposure and usually have quite, quite great results with that. What I notice during assembly already is that the three second layer exposure gives a much tighter fit than the previous mixes I've been using with Resi1 resins. By the way, I usually use mixtures of different Resi1 resins, for example like M58 with TH72 or both of them with anti-impact resin or anti-impact with M58. The reason for this being that M58 has, as well as anti-impact, the nice property of being dust-free and TH72, while having a dusting surface on its own, gives a really nice amount of flexibility, which makes it usually easier to assemble action figure parts like these. So I'm pretty sure that Tough 74 could also be mixed with other resins of their line. But let's see first how this holds up. I'm assembling this very slowly and carefully because from the feel of it, it is very tight, much tighter than I'm used to with the other mixes I use. But it seems to go together very well and it really has some, some grip. I really like it and it's super stable. One of the key features of the resin they told in their first advertisement is that, especially for assembly with snap fits and ball joints like I use, the grip is, is permanent, like it's supposed to not give away too much. I mean, at least after first assembly, this seems to hold very true. It's much tighter, much, much more. Of course, it comes apart if you use enough force, but it's, it seems to be sticking together much better than with the previous mixes I've been using. Nice pop there. Okay, this went well. Okay, here we go. Pilot figure assembled. Looks really nice. I have to say I like the look of the resin. It's much darker than the other tough resins they have, like the uh, M58 for example. I have a few comparisons here. So this is M58. I have a TH72 here. I can quickly compare this. On the left hand side you see the M58 print, which is pretty light, but still not super translucent, it's good to see detail. On the right hand you see the TH72, which has a bit more flexibility, but you can also see on the joints. It works well, but it has some dusting, so joints will over time lose some of their grip if you print only with TH72, but it works. This still has a good grip, it's a little bit looser than the other two, but still, still working fine after a very long time, this print is about a year old. And now in the middle we have the new Tough 74. I really like the surface. It's good quality, as always with Resi 1, always good quality resins. And yeah, as they promised, there's no dusting at all. Seems to be a really nice and tight fit with my previous print settings. I basically use the same print settings for all Resi 1 resins, with some exceptions being uh, G217, the transparent resin, and F69, the rubber resin of course, and probably the dark version, the black version of this Tough 74 as well, so I probably also would use a little bit of a higher layer exposure with the, with the dark resin, they also recommend it. Um, I haven't tested this yet though, 
So yeah, it's pretty nice. First look, first test, very successful and very nice quality. And it really looks good. I like the I like the darker color very much, I have to say. All right. Let's move on to the to the exo armor. Let's put this together. No, oh, I should have cleaned this, this up a little better. It's this right here, yeah, on the supports. Speaking of which, it also came off pretty nicely off the supports. So no, no issue there. Looks all very nice. Comes together very well. Parts fit really nicely. together very nicely moves well ah, I already assembled these the feet on the leg armor parts before also move very nicely I usually recommend to heat the parts up before assembly if you print the stuff at home. It's just a precaution measure because you never know. I mean, sometimes even with the best resin, it can break during assembly and that's always a bummer. So heating up the parts, just putting them in a cup of hot water for 30 seconds uh, before you assemble them is the best way to go. That way you can make sure the, the resin is softened enough and gives away, especially for the snap fits. And then it will dry later on and cool down and move back to its old position. So that's pretty safe for assembly. But when I test new resins, of course I want to see their qualities, their, 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 their toughness or flexibility or whatever is needed, especially for the purpose if I decide to, to move on to test with these resins. And that's why I never heat them up during these uh, test videos, just to just to make sure, okay, this is the right kind of resin to use for the stuff. And yeah, so far it's good. I like what I see. Everything goes together pretty nice and smoothly. It looks good. Nice resin. Okay, and here we have it, finished, assembled Exo Armor Space Type Mark II with the new Resi 1 Tough 74 resin. It looks great, I really like it a lot, it has a great feel to it. What is very surprising that it doesn't have a strong odor in its liquid form, which makes it really easy to use, really comfortable printing with this resin. And um, yeah, it's it's really nice again of a Resi 1 to work on a resin formula, especially with mechanical moving parts in mind. They specifically advertise it to print action figures, action figure parts, which I'm highly thankful for. That's one of the reasons I like Resi1 so much as a brand because they seem to take care of, of the needs that are on the market. Like with any other resin brands, I really don't have the feeling um, that they are taking care of any special needs like something like this. I know that 3D printing action figures, especially in the resin world, is still a niche thing, but it's even nicer to have a brand that manufactures really great resins to, to take care of these needs and address them. So very thankful for that. Of course, I would like to have a long-term test, see how this resin holds up for time of like time frame of like I don't know, maybe three, four months or so. Also to see if it's feasible to have this in a limited production run of 3D printed model kits and parts. 
But yeah, let's see. I will try a few more prints with this resin and keep them safe somewhere and test the assembly in a few months from now. But for now I can say thank you very much. Great resin. Currently the resin is only available through international orders, I think, from their China distribution warehouse. But I read on the website it's going to be released end of summer, early autumn in the United States and in the Germany EU warehouse as well. So if you want to get your hands on it, it will be available very soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and help me to create more of this content. Thank you very much. Bye.